Okay, so let's get out of here. Okay, apparently that's not the way up. I was using that... <laughs> I was using the box to, as an indicator to know where I'm supposed to leave this room. I was kind of hoping that that was kind of a clue of where to go, but apparently not. Okay, no, the exit's right here. Okay, and I believe Lanky's last three bananas are just over here. On the, uh, rope. And there we go! Besides the blueprint and, uh, the gold banana we have to get much later, we are finished with Lanky. We'll miss you, man. Lanky, you're an awesome monkey. He really is. Let's sing a tribute song in Lanky's honor. I will remember... Okay, no. I've already done that song before. Okay, we have a Diddy switch right here, which will open up the door below us. So it's actually kind of funny, that one door actually has two gates. One gate that you can only access during the night, and then the second one you have to hit that switch to get. They're being very, very picky with when you enter this room, I guess. Okay, so there is a balloon in here. I can't really see it though, it's so dark. And there we go. Let's hit the switch that has the green up arrow. If it'll allow me to do that. Okay, I can't do anything with that one. Is there anything I'm missing in this room before I actually do this? Oh. I should probably turn the machine on. That might help. I don't know about you guys, but that might actually help me out. I gotta make sure the machine's actually turned on before I press one of the buttons that's on the machine. And that will raise this cage that's actually underground. That also has a gold banana in it. To get the gold banana, we have to use that guitar pad, and that is what we're going to do next. And then we, we'll be finished with Diddy Kong, actually. I know he still has ten bananas unaccounted for, but remember, that's the, uh... Um... What am I trying to say? Um, oh yeah, the banana balloon that's inside Snide's area, which I'll get during the day. So let's go over here and play the guitar, or the guitar, whatever you want to call it. And you know what? I don't know if I will actually be able to fit the final boss in this uh, video recording, because if I'm going to get all the regular bananas, then, uh... Or actually, what I could do is I could get this banana, turn in the blueprints, fight the boss, and then end the recording there. And then I can go back and get the normal bananas when I come back to Fungi Forest later. Which, yeah, I'm probably going to do that now, actually. Uh, let me just make sure I have everything else. Okay. I'm still missing that random banana bunch with Chunky. Okay, I'm finished with DK. Finished with Lanky. Gonna be finished with you. And not really sure about your two bananas, but I'll find that out later. Okay. So I guess we're changing it back to daytime now. Actually, I could probably just go to the banana port. I don't know why I'm doing that. I really don't know what I was trying to accomplish with that. But alas, back to the main room we go. Here's another way you can also climb the clock tower, but... It's kind of a stupid way to climb. Since you have that barrel cannon, plus you can also use the uh, rocket barrel too. And you have to use your weapons to hit the switch, not 
the Chimpy Charge or the Primate Punch. Which is kind of lame. Oh well. You know what they say, sometimes in life, things will be lame. Okay, here we are, back in the daytime, and... Where the hell is Snide? Okay, he's over here. I knew he had to be around here somewhere. He can't hide from me forever! Okay, let's grab this balloon. Okay, there we go. Finally. And go inside here and turn in the rest of the blueprints. Or all of the blueprints. All the blueprints that we have with us. Okay, you guys saw the animation, now I'm gonna cut out the rest of the animations and I'll see you once I've turned in all the blueprints. Okay, there we go, all the blueprints are turned in. And our blueprint page is looking sexy. Okay, no it's not. Okay, let's leave and actually go fight the boss now. As I said before, I'm going to save all the random banana stuff for when I come back to Fungi Forest later. That way I didn't have to actually look up where they were during the whole blueprint thing. Okay, for this boss we need 300 bananas. So basically if you've gotten all 100 bananas with 3 Kongs, you should be good. But if not, you just need a um, 60 banana average amongst all the Kongs, which isn't that hard. Oh my gosh, I never uh, talked about that story I was going to tell. Holy crap. And I'll do it for the next world. The next world's a lot of wandering around anyways. I am so sorry about that, though. I was wondering for, like, the longest time if I was forgetting anything. And, yeah, I was forgetting about the story I promised to tell you guys. Don't worry, I'll tell it. I'll, ma I'll make sure I tell it during the uh, next level. You have my word on it. And my word is always good. And for this boss fight, we're going to use the only Kong who hasn't had a boss fight yet. Not counting the mini boss in Frantic Factory. It's Chunky Kong's time to shine. Hey, wait a minute. Doesn't this arena look kind of familiar? Uh-oh. Deja vu. Deja vu, I hate you. It's Dagadon. He or she, it doesn't really tell you, is up for a second round. And I believe it's actually bigger this time, I think. I know, that's about the same size. But yeah, you start out fighting the guy the same way. Just wait for him to stop firing fireballs at you and then just throw the TNT barrel at him. However, he does have a second phase. And the second phase is actually kind of annoying. And I believe he also has a new attack as well. Oh, yep, he has a shockwave attack. 
I could have waited until he finished the shockwave attack and then threw the barrel, but I am a very, very impatient person. Okay, now he has a giant wall of fire, which is hard to avoid, but then you just throw another barrel at him, and that's what you have to do. And I believe after he uh, is finished with this stupid round of... oh wait, no, he's starting this now. Okay, now he's actually going to add a time limit to the rest of the fight. We have to defeat him before this uh, platform sinks into the lava. And if it sinks into the lava, we automatically die. So They did actually try to make this challenging. And in order to actually attack him during this phase, we have to uh, use the uh, chunky barrel that forms after you throw the uh, TNT barrel. And this, you know, punch the hell out of him. Yeah, that's pretty much how you have to finish him off. He's not a very hard boss, though, even with this new phase. Also, make sure you move off the platform after you throw the uh, TNT barrel. Otherwise, the uh, chunky barrel won't appear. I think another round of punches should do it. A lot of people actually recommend you use the Primate Punch for that, but the Primate Punch is so slow, and it really doesn't do that, that much extra damage, so you're kind of taking a risk by doing that. Just normal punches work fine. And there we go, we've beaten Dogadon a second time. And then he just falls into the lava. somehow burning to death, even though he's a fire dragon. I never really got that, but whatever. It's a video game. Okay, so there we go. We have the fifth key for K. Lumsey. And I would normally go to K. Lumsey and take the key back, but I'm actually going to end the recording right here because I am running very, very low on time. And it's getting to the point where the video might start glitching if I let it go for any longer. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording here. I'll see you guys in the next segment where I'm going to take back K. Lumsey's key, do some stuff in the overworld, and just maybe, just maybe start the sixth world. So I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks. Okay. Hello, everybody. Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. The first thing we're going to do in this recording session is we're going to break the fifth lock. <laughs> and after we break the fifth lock, two things actually happen in the overworld. The first thing that happens is this boulder that's kind of blocking DK's ear, or the island's ear, will disappear. And then also this rock over here will be destroyed creating a second barrel cannon. And if you couldn't figure that out, that's actually two worlds opening up. The first one, the one that's inside the island's ear, is the first world, or the sixth world, and then the barrel cannon one is the uh, seventh world. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to return to Gloomy Galleon. Not necessarily the level, though, the lobby of Gloomy Galleon. Because now that we have the Super Simeon Slam, there is a gold banana in here we can get now. So I'm going to get that very quickly before I continue with the game. Anyways, I believe the switch is right here. Pound it with Chunky, and then... 
a little pipe will open up for you. Now what you have to do here is first you have to find the tag barrel, wherever the hell it is. It's over here, okay. 